60 plus days. Now, the entire point of this video is to give you all a better idea of the reason why I took this long break, what's been going on, what some of my struggles have been, and just so you guys can get a better understanding of exactly why I just did the big Houdini and just went poof. I have a whole video plan, but before we get into it, I really wanna thank my subscribers, those of you guys who have been there from day one, because for the entire 60 plus days that I've been gone, not one of you guys unsubscribed, and that's a lot of love. Guys, I feel it, I, I really do. I feel it, and I appreciate you all for sticking around and waiting for me. Maybe some of you guys weren't waiting. Maybe you kind of just forgot. Some of you guys went back in just to kind of check on me, uh, send me a message, making sure that I was okay, asking me if I quit, just wondering what was going on. So. I appreciate those of you who really went above and beyond. I hope everything's been well. I hope your family's great. I hope your year has been amazing and I hope it just keeps getting better and better. I don't even wanna hold you guys back any longer. I just wanna jump into the video. Hope you guys enjoy it and hope you guys get a better understanding of exactly why I've been gone. 60 days, guys. That's crazy. You guys are savage. You Y'all are, you, are just, you guys are savage. Enjoy the video, enjoy the video. Overthinking, the art of creating problems that were never even there. This is a problem that a lot of people have and sometimes we can't even help it. It's like a virus that sneaks in, settles in the most uncomfortable part of our minds. It's like an itch that you just can't scratch. Now the crazy thing about an art is it takes time to develop. The one skill set that I never really wanted. Sometimes I wish doing things and making choices could be as simple as but that would just be counterproductive. Now the past 60 days, I've completely overthought almost 99% of everything that I do. From simple day-to-day -day activities to deciding really what to wear, I'll spend maybe minutes at a time really trying to decide if this is great, if it's the best for the occasion. I'll always find something. Now it's really crazy to think that something so small can be consistently constant to the point where it really just interferes with something that I'm personally passionate about, something that I love, which is making videos, making content. It's crazy, right? I tried to distract myself, but I still felt lost and out of touch with myself. That confident side of me that can make a decision in an instant without any regret just felt like he was fading away. Now, this may seem a little bit dramatic, but if I didn't find a solution soon, Everything that I've worked for could all end before I even got a chance to start. And so that's exactly what I did. Now figuring out the initial part was, it was easy. As a content creator, when we create videos and we post it on YouTube or any other platform, our expectation is that we want it to be good but also for it to get pretty good reviews and reviews for us are views. I could care less about the comments. Now, there was a video that I made, the video actually right before this video. Uh, so if you guys go to my page, it's still there. Now this video, I stepped outside my comfort zone to really put it together, creating other characters, doing whatever I needed to do, just something different and it didn't, it didn't really do too well on the platform. You guys can take a look for yourself. Now, this was my baby, my bread and butter, my salt, pepper, ketchup on a roll. And my baby didn't do too well on the platform and this really broke my heart. And honestly, like I said, it was very easy to figure out what the first initial conflict was because this is where almost every single thing started. Now, as far as the second obstacle, that one hit a little bit closer to home. 
So this past July, I turned 30 years old, a big 3-0. Now, I remember in my preteens, I made a promise to myself that by the time I was even 27, that I would want to own my own business, but also be a millionaire or at least something close to it, working my way towards it. As far as the business goes, 2022, I opened, 2021, 2021, I opened my first uh, business. It was a direct marketing uh, company. Now, it was, everything was fun in the beginning, but you know, I felt under the pressure of being way too involved in people's lives. Uh, maybe made some poor financial decisions and there was a whole lot of other things that went on in the background so i closed down shop for that and then in 2023 i started another business when i moved out here to kansas city um, i was making car keys for all types of vehicles now this gig was pretty cool it was solo gig but that eventually became what the problem was i didn't realize that I enjoy, you know, just working with others. It's something that I really do enjoy when it comes to either working or collaborating or anything that just involves just being around people. I enjoy, I enjoy being around people. Now, around this point, because I was so, <laughs> I was by myself a lot. I was working 10 to 10 to the point where I didn't even have time to do anything else. I didn't have time to make videos. Um, I didn't really have time to spend with uh, my girlfriend or anything like that. So. I decided to close down shop. I chose my happiness over running that business. But it doesn't mean that I gave up on, you know, my dreams. Realizing these two things with the with the YouTube and also the promise that I made to myself, I realized that I was putting a lot of pressure on myself. I should be exactly where I want to be, especially before turning 30. But going through this midlife crisis, this early on midlife crisis, that's what I'm going to call it is that it, it's okay you know i put an effort into something and it didn't really turn out the way i wanted it to but it's also not the end of the road and for you who's watching this video as well you know you may be in a similar situation or your circumstances is just maybe completely different but i've learned that we just got to keep going that sometimes in life you know you're not going to have different avenues different routes to go you probably just have that one straight road and you just have to keep going because there's going to be obstacles that are going to be in your way, but those obstacles are really what makes you who you are. It's going to be what helps you build that skill set that you really need in order to achieve that goal, to be in that state of mind, to be in that state of life. And I hope that's what you guys are getting from this video. I'm in front of the camera now. I'm making this video because I'm choosing to keep moving forward. My question for you guys is what are you guys going to do? Are you going to let those obstacles get in your way? or you're just gonna smash your way through because I cannot forget that promise that I made to myself because in the end, I am gonna reach those goals. And hopefully you guys have the same mindset. That's pretty much it, guys. I appreciate you guys watching this video all the way to the end. If you like it, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe. If you guys are new, welcome to the family, welcome to the channel. I have more stuff in store for you guys. I, I promise I'm not disappearing anytime soon, but until next time, you guys have a great day. Peace out, deuces. I catch y'all later.